What is going on YouTube? Welcome back into some Anno 1800. So I am going to uh, grab a few islands right here real quick. I want to get the last, uh, the last little bit of influence that we need for um, world leader to get us some extra workforce on our islands. So I'm going to go grab that one. And I'm thinking either this one, actually I'm thinking about this one. Now nah, we'll grab this one right here. Just come grab this one. It's a little bit closer. I'll take it completely back. We're going to go to down. Yeah, we're going to go to the new world. I want to grab more islands in the new world so the AI doesn't take them. You can rely on us. We'll just bring that down and have some extra um, supplies. But yeah, I want to grab a couple more uh, islands in the new world just to deny the AI anything good really you might hear kitty complaining in the background definitely want to grab this one and I might come down and grab that one no I want this one 15 oil yeah I want that one and that one I think they'll be pretty good that'll have all the really good islands mine All right, go grab this one right here, and I think we'll, oh, there it is, world leader, awesome, extra two hundred workforce. Make sail. That is going to be very helpful, having all that extra workforce now. You gained an influence bonus. And then we might let the AI go have some. She wants that little island. You can have that little island. You can have that little place. I don't care. She does have some quests for me too. I just know you'll give for a worthy cause. Oh really? You're as naughty as You know, having a kitten and a leather office chair is just not a good combination. What we got here? A photography quest that I can do. It's an easy Archie's lighthouse. Cherry atop our beautiful friendship cake. No, to the alliance. From decay. Thank you for that. Benta can have a little island as a treat. Yeah, exactly. Here's a treat. You can have a little island all to yourself. Oh, cat! Stop that. That is not a toy. The microphone is not a toy. Lord. Stop! I'm gonna put you out. Sorry, guys. My cat has decided that the microphone is, you know, an object to be attacked. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Good lord. Two month old kittens. They are quite the joy. <laughs> yes, kitty. <laughs> uh Okay, you're, you you have to stop. You have to get down. You cannot keep attacking the mic. Quit. Good God. New orders All objects to be attacked. Seriously, that is that is her point of view. Yeah, we have a little chat window in the gameplay now. Yeah, YouTube has been asking if they could see the chat and see what all is being talked about. So I decided to uh, add that in for them over there. I'm going to leave this ship over here as a spare clipper in this region. Where is face cam? I have the face cam turned off at the moment. Um, I, I'm trying to determine if it's lagging the recording, having the cam running, because I am using a uh, virtual software to remove the background for green screen instead of having an actual green screen and using chroma key. And I'm I'm trying to determine if that is causing a lot of lag. kitty cam <laughs> yeah maybe the, maybe later today in the stream if I can determine if uh, v cam is giving me issues or not we can uh, we can look into 
kitty cam again. Alright, let's get back over here now. The pendulum swings between contentment and consternation. Hey, at least we have rum still. Uh, we do need an another you. variety theater up here, actually. They need a little happiness. And they need brick roads. There. Oh, sweet fancy. All right, they are super happy artisans. What if you don't use the virtual software then? Uh, then it is a giant widescreen cam version and you see my entire office in the background. And, you know, who wants that? So yeah, that's why that's why I use that. Beers on the down on the downward slope yet again. But we do have a lot of artisans that I could upgrade into engineers at the moment, so that is something I could actually do to alleviate that. Something I probably should go ahead and do. Just kind of prepare, because this side of the city over here is also going to be a lot of engineers and stuff. So we might as well just go ahead and get everything in that needs. Keep moving some stuff out of the way as I expand the city that in this direction. Yep, more engineers time. Those guys upgraded into some engineers. Lovely. Now, of course, now beer is good. Lovely. Uh, fur coats, though, are on the downward spiral. We need need some more fur coats. But before I do that... Um, I'm going to increase the fur coat production slightly for right now. Instead of building more. Let's see if that, that takes care of it. Yeah. We're going to do that. Then we're going to come over here. We're taking every care. And increase this by the same rate for the moment. Then come down here and just build one. I think one more chain should be okay. Hearthstone... Julia. Uh, here. Yeah. I didn't need just one more chain of this. Hola. Watch out for the ire of Jean. Yeah, that's why I haven't increased it very much. I've just increased it a small amount. Okay, so now this should be enough for all of the all of that, just for the time for the moment. Um, because I have made the executive decision that I am going to the Arctic, specifically to unlock Prime hunting cabins. I just want to go unlock Prime hunting cabins. That's all I really care about. Ooh. No, I, I don't have as much influence as I thought I did. Let's get a few, let's get some more uh, investors in here. Thought I had a little more influence than that. Just a little more. Tallow is down. Not due to the tallow. Oh, I don't have it electrified. That's why tallow is down. Tallow is down because I don't have it electrified. Pushed it off farther. Let's see.
going to work for right now. Okay. Alright, kind of took care of that. 184 influence. Ready for order. Bring you back down for right now. And we're going to get a clipper and we're going to get up to the Arctic. Yeah, this is like every European city ever. It's a disaster. <laughs> of roads i mean there's like there is some like continuity to stuff you know there are main roads that go long ways and then it kind of branches off from there into the uh, all over the place all right there's that let's get a clipper going to go to the arctic with Okay. It's really not that bad, guys. Like, what are you talking about? Like, look, there's like main long roads, and then cross streets and stuff. Now, yeah, I didn't do very good on the cross streets and stuff, but you know, it's not that bad looking. Now, this up here is a little wonky. Kind of went a little crazy. But yeah, it's kind of fun. I don't have all I need for my canvas. It's a fun city. More boulevards for it to be more European and squares. Um, we actually had a big talk about the uh, boulevard thing earlier. Uh, and and it, uh, boulevards in relation to the 19th century and stuff. Because they weren't very common back then. Boulevards were reserved. Big, wide boulevards and avenues were reserved for... Like, noble and aristocratic areas of cities. Alright, let's start the, uh, where is it at? Land of Lions Passage. Here we go. Sign a ship. Old world. Industrious. We're going to slot him in there. goods now um let's see hunting force i've got faith i've got faith na naval power and navigation i can take some coffee for rations and force there's something weird that gave uh hunting what was it yeah, glass gives hunting for some reason. This is going to be kind of tough. Actually, I could take her. Yeah, there we go. 78%. Do this for crafting. It's not doing much for me. Put a tiger in. There we go. That's the weirdest expedition ever. Coffee, a mother of pearls, a tiger, and a chaplain walked into a bar. 17th and 18th centuries both gave rise to avenue planting. I never said that they were that there were not avenues and stuff. I said that they were typically designated for high class for the uh, upper class areas of cities. Places where the nobles and aristocrats or, you know, the uh, wealthy merchants, um, areas of cities like that. 
that is where places uh that's where you saw a lot of uh use of boulevards and and one slot is useless empty yes because i could use it to put stuff in i can use it to i i would rather have an empty slot that i could use for picking up something i get along the way other than rather than taking something and then having to dump it overboard and waste the material But anyways, yeah, clams are people. Or not clams are people, sorry. Maltku, yeah. The boulevards and avenues, that those were very common in aristocratic, noble, high-end areas. This is a game with game limitations. Ultimately, you're building with the end city in mind, which would have avenues. Yes, but not in these parts of town. Like, I've got one right here where there's, like, investors and some engineers and stuff. But it's not really a nice area of town because there's still factories. Now, eventually, I'll probably move a lot of these investors out and put more engineers and uh, artisans here. And the boulevards won't even look right. And I didn't really pre-plan this city. I'm kind of building it as I go. I typically don't pre-plan cities. I, I don't pre-plan roads and layouts. I, I adjust as I go and everything. It's just some way I've always played, is I've just built as I go. Trees. Alright, so while we're waiting for that expedition to get underway so I can get up there and get some stuff happening. Do a little more uh, city expansion here. Some more of those. Actually, I'm going to upgrade these three farmers too. I don't like any of this right here. Okay. Coming up with ideas of what we're going to, uh, what I want to do with some of these areas of town. Okay. Steam engine production? Nah. Why? What does it do for me? Other than I could sell it for money. What does steam engine production do for me? Am I doing the Arctic quest line? That's literally what I just sent a uh, ship off for. I don't need cargo ships. If I need a cargo ship, I can go buy a cargo ship. Well, I can't buy them right there at the moment. Have any? Ceasefire has ended. Yeah, he's got one. I can go. Oh, let me go. Let me go take care of this real quick, guys. Uh, peace treaty. Yeah. But stay out of our way. Fresh and pack trade rights. We get what's fine. Cool. Okay, now Anne is happy with me. Uh, cargo ships. If I need if I need a cargo ship, I can just go buy one for three hundred thousand. I've got plenty of money. I'm making plenty of money. I don't I don't really see the. I just don't really need to make. I just don't want to make them right now. I don't need that many cargo ships. Um, I've got a cargo ship for coffee coming in, and we're doing great on coffee. I have a car. I have two cargo ships doing rum. We're good on that. And that's it. I don't need cargo ships for anything else. Nothing else is needing the speed of a cargo ship. Battleships are always one of the best ships for buying from vendors. You can get a 55% discount on prices because they have four slots. Yep. Battleships are pretty good to buy from the AI. May we see the and there's the Arctic Expedition underway. Alright. And as far as a ramshackle layout, I mean... I. trying to think how I would respond to it being called a ramshackle layout it's there is a method to the madness I mean I do try to keep straight I, I've said this a thousand times I try to keep main thoroughfares and straightaways north and uh, okay I didn't go up and down I could redo that but I try to keep major roads going at least every so often back and forth and then in between I kind of let things go a little willy-nilly in between uh, just because it's, you no, know, to me that's, 
as an American, that's how I see European cities as an American. You know, that there are long major roads with random stuff in but you know with in between is kind of the hot the the mess in between long major roads that's how i see european cities so that's kind of what that's how i typically build yeah i do need to get some more oil coming in because i need a i need a um i need a, another power plant like over in this area that's actually not a not a terrible idea to do some more oil production we've and I also would like to get, because I probably will end up moving all of the farms off this island and move them somewhere else. So I could also get that done. I do have a nice big island up here that I could do a f uh, grain and potatoes on and move a bunch of that stuff off. It's not a it, that is not the worst idea in the world actually let me uh and this one has oil so I could do it locally oh yeah okay okay we have a, we have plans we have plans now um speaking of spending three hundred thousand let's go get ourselves a cargo ship from her you are here to help Only I'm reporting in. send you back to hearthstone I want to use you to buy up some material, get some materials going. The tyranny of the road is a real thing to city design. Yeah, it's true. Attention for the admiral. Oh, we have literally no timber. Flagship awaiting instructions. Well, I know where we've got timber. We've got some here, and we've got some over here. So we'll get... Oh, wait. I need bricks. Stop. 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 Get back here. I need bricks. First. Grab at least one thing of brick, and then we'll come over here and start grabbing timber. So what we'll do is we'll come up here, and we will start... Where you want to settle? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Poor Benta. All right, come up here and drop this off. So yeah, what we'll do is I'm, I will start moving grain, uh, pigs. I'll start moving everything that is farming related. So all this, even the soap, I'll probably move. I'll, I'll leave the soap factories, but I'll move the rendering works. No, I'll leave the rendering works too. We'll just move the pig farms, slaughterhouses, and all of the grain farms off of this island and go ahead and get it up here onto Manorborn. And start shipping in um, flour because I'll leave the bakeries down here. So I'll ship in flour and um, flour, pigs, flour and pigs. I think that'll be about it. I think that'll be all I need. Flour, pigs, and uh, schnapps because I will still have workers on this I island. To blunt my rage on. So I'll bring in all of that kind of stuff locally. Just noticed that I probably could do with having a church down here. I'll just put it right there for the second. Move it around later. Alright, there's the boxer. We're going to have him get the stuff that we're going to need for rails and the fuel station up there. Um, let's go south. So an Arctic welcome. Most probably an abandoned trading post at Huddleston Bay Company. An ice sheet lies between your ship and the trading post. Let's take the safest route. The instincts are solid. 
Okay. Her Majesty's. New order. Ship so slow. I don't have all I need for my canvas. Hmm. Not liking that. Got plenty, it's just not here yet with it. Alright. Get ourselves some docks going, or I keep calling these things docks, depots going. Head back down. I'm not going to do a commuter pier up here just at the second. I didn't say ducks, I said docks. Where are y'all getting ducks from? I never said ducks. What kind of weirdness are y'all talking about? I never said ducks. Y'all are crazy. Right, there's some of that. There's some money from Benta. Okay. We need you, Admiral. Huddle some bay. We have found a shelter. So we got to find some, uh, uh, let's find information about the local area. Let's continue on south. And we'll set sail for that little island there. Okay. Now, let's see. What do we got going? How many farms? We have 17 grain farms. I really could do with that. But in order to do that, I would need to do motor assemblies. Uh, I don't really want to do these right yet, but I kind of really have to, don't I? If I want to do... Why did you blow up? Oh, hello. I had a lot of stuff blow up. Might help. Did I put him in and not even put fields in? <laughs> My bad. Your city has grown more there we go. Beautiful. All right, everything's rebuilt everywhere. Uh, anyways, yeah, I mean, if I want to do tractor barns, which I really do to decrease I the did. number of grain farms I need, I guess I am going to have to do steam motors. Unless we go over to... Um, it's all prepared. Crown Falls and unlock that and I can buy steam motors but those are very expensive to buy choices 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 this is going to require even more furnaces and another and more smelteries hmm. and they're so bloody expensive Ugh. hate these things yeah, they are really expensive to buy. I might as well just might as well just suck it up and build this stupid thing right here. Might as well just do it. Um let's see. Electricity, where do you reach to so I can kinda plan where I want you? There to there. Back over into here. This right here is looking like a good spot for him. Back here. Need a lot of brass. Oh, DM Scout, I'm only going to the Arctic right now to unlock Prime Hunting Cabins. We're not, I'm not going, I'm probably not even going to go through the whole story uh, right now for finding Sir John and stuff. I'm just going up there to do one thing, and that is unlock those those hunting cabins right now. 
I will deal with the rest of that god awful region later. It's beastly, Admiral. Okay. Got a little extra bonus of that. Can't wait. Did it have power to write? I have. No! Tile of power is one off. This. Yes! Perfect. Okay. Ha! Perfect! It's not awful. Bannon, everyone knows that you have really weird and odd ideas of what's good and not, so... You are invalid. Okay, so there is that. Let's check now. Yeah, we are going to have to have some more brass. Um, wait. Huh? Oh, I was like, what's going on? It's... Uh, it's I hate this day. I hate, the, I hate this one because it just totally screws me up. story is painful no the story is not painful just the region is just stupid like it's just I just don't I just don't really enjoy the Arctic I just don't and you know I just I never really have so that's just that's just all there is to it just never have enjoyed the Arctic So we know we're going to have to have more furnaces, but at the moment, um, I don't know what we need because of Commemoration Day. Uh, but we do know we're going to have to have more brass, so we might as well get that going. I'll get that brass right here. Just keep moving this house around. Eventually I'll get it where I want it. Oh, that's not going to be electrified, and I really want it electrified. Okay, you can go right there then. Not that. Hi, kids. There we go. Okay. And the last thing we're going to have to have is more copper and zinc. Get some more copper from up here. Where was my copper and zinc coming from? I had copper... I was only getting copper from over here. Yeah. Where's the zinc at? There's zinc. I need some more bricks, windows, and concrete. On our way. Right on. I don't recall seeing a way... No, Bannon. I don't recall seeing a way when it popped up a long time ago when I first got Artisans. It just popped up instantly. And, like, there was no, there was no way to... Uh, Decline the quest. It was just a pop-up thing right here that you could only click OK on, and then I had the expedition, and that was it. There, there was no way I saw to tell her I don't want to help you. Ah, that's not where I wanted to go. When I arrive to the region, I guess we'll see. So you have to do the expedition to get there, and then you have to go and go. Yeah, we'll see when I get there, if there's a way to skip it. Uh, offered a trade for relics. Uh, ask they have a, got a hold of them. Okay, whatever. Go on. Oh, 
I didn't bring bricks. Dang it. Fine, come in here and get some bricks too. Here, then have some bricks. Bring her around. Have a few bricks then. We're already pumping out some uh, steam motors. So this is going to be an extra zinc, but I still need the that copper right up here too. with you just a second dude ready for be with you in just a second buddy go up here and get some of this right here going Celebrate your leadership. Flagship awaiting instructions. Okay, so there's that done. I'm gonna tell him to also pick up zinc and drop it off. And where was the ship that was going back and forth? We're doing that. All right. This is another good place for a charter route to pick up uh, copper. Is that right? Was it copper? Yeah. Yeah, copper. All right, we'll do that for the copper to come over. That will start taking care of this. Get us some steam motors in. Okay. Expedition. Set our bearings right. The narrows. Um, let's try to send scouts ahead in rowboats. And we follow the seals, and we have arrived in the Arctic. We shouldn't expect to find them right away. This is a vast wilderness. It's been two years. The Admiralty say they've tried everything, but then they haven't lost a husband. I mean, it is a very pretty region. Nor did it occur to them to search King William Sound? There! A camp! I think they just didn't want to find your husband. Abandoned. But we imagined as much, didn't we? And my John picked a fine spot. Perhaps they left some sign as to where they went. Yeah, I mean, the, the Arctic is very atmospheric. I'm just not a fan of all the... It, I just, I don't know. There's something about the Arctic I'm just not a fan of. Okay. I did say there would be rewards. That's for finding my John's camp. Okay. Okay, I'm here. My John's camp shall serve for us. Okay. I'm click the trading post to take it over. I mean, so far I'm not seeing any... I mean, of course, we haven't fully claimed it yet. Keep seeing. Hold hard, a crag. She, I can't stand her. First, get all you faithful some shelter, and it. 
If HMS oh, Hades whatever. And here's the Inuits. I had to sail up to him, right? Uh, ah. the rudder. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I can't. There is no way to, to to ignore and decline the main quest. Quests cannot be abandoned. There is no way to abandon. I mean, I can abandon the basic settlement quest, but you, I can't abandon the main quest for the region for the region. So, yeah, can't abandon the main quest. Have to go through it all. If we all pull to I'm actually going to send him back instead. Then come down here. Build us another clipper and send a clipper up north to do that. Alright, and with that, I'm going to put a cut in the recording for YouTube. Guys over there, thank you so much for joining us and watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. I do love to hear from you guys. Join us on uh, Twitch every Friday and Sunday at twitch.tv slash for uh, just to hang out and watch me bumble around and apparently build completely ramshackle and ridiculous cities. Um, but with that, we will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.